Because even like yesterday, I made a uh, response video to someone and I can't remember what they were saying. And they were saying that like, well, I was saying something in the video about being homeless. Like, oh, I was saying that homeless people made bad decisions and that because they have. And someone come underneath that video saying, yeah, but you know, you can still get kicked out of your parents' house. And, that. and I'm like, no way. It's impossible. There's, there's no, I mean, there's some evil parent out there. Yeah? Let, let's not in, include the, the minority, yeah? the 0.01% of people. There's no way, yeah, if you live at your parents' house, and you get up and you work every day, you get up on time, yeah, you're on a positive path, they can see you're progressing with your life and that, they, and you help out around the house, you're an asset to the house, you should be an asset to the house. Yeah? You shouldn't be a spare part. You should be able to bring some sort of value to the house. Yeah? There's no way you do all those five and more. Even if your parents have no space for you, there's no way they're going to keep... Well, how, how can you want to see your child that you gave birth to, or fathered if you're a man, obviously, who gets up, they work, they have studied... You know, they, they, they're they on the right and positive path. They're an upstanding member of the community in that. They help out around the house and they're an asset to the house. Why the fuck would you want to see that person out on the streets? Come on, man. It's impossible. It's impossible. I'm not talking about that 1% of evil parents and that. Average parents, they would never do that. They would never do that. My son is the greatest son on earth. He's a good man. He pays his bills on time. He contributes to the household monetarily and in terms of, you know, help out around the house. He, he's not a nuisance. He don't play loud music till two in the morning. He don't come back at four in the morning, making up noise and that. He don't hang around antisocial people. He's a great man, but we're kicking him out onto the streets. Bullshit. You can't tell me no different. Even if there's no space in that house, yeah, they will let you sleep on the sofa. Or sleep on the floor. How the fuck can your mum rather you sleep out on the streets if you're a good person on the right path rather than sleep on the floor in the living room? Watch your house that that crowded. Your mum hoards that much that there ain't even space for you to sleep on a sleeping bag on the floor. Come on, man. Use your brain. Use your brain. There's no way. There is no way your mum would kick you out of the house if you're doing everything you're supposed to. I tell you why people get kicked out of their house. They're smoking weed. They're waking up at two in the afternoon when they should be working during the day. They're hanging around with antisocial people. They got all their waste man friends coming over. They're making up noise. They got idiots knocking at the door at silly cock in the morning. That yeah, that's a reason to kick that person out of the house. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's impossible. It is impossible. Don't tell me about that one percent. Forget them. Let's talk about the majority. Yeah. Most people are not that 1%. That's because they're most people. There's no way. There is zero chance your mum would kick you out of the house if you're doing everything you're supposed to. Me, I'm an asset to my house. My mum would love for me to come and move back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants me to come move back. No problem. My mum wants me as close as possible. My mum was like, ah, oh, Jelani, do you think you can buy a property close to um, like Edmonton and that? <laughs> yeah, my mum wants me to come to be close. My mum don't want me just coming down on a weekend. My mum wants you to just fly past, just uh, just stop off on a Monday or a Wednesday. Or 